There is a revival coming. And the spiritual forces that have been dominating nations, the wicked that have been scheming plans, they will be hindered in their works for a period of time. But certain things need to come to fulfillment in prophecy. Eventually the Antichrist will take his place. But right now, who restrains the church that is full of the Holy Ghost? one that restrains the Antichrist who is at work at present but the fully unrevealing of this Antichrist is restrained because there's a church of Jesus Christ that is full of the Holy Ghost we are that agency of heaven and God is saying to the church will I raise up intercessors that will stand in the gap I looked and I could not find one to stand in the gap be that one say God I'm going to stand upon the wall I'm going to stand in my position of prayer I'm going to pray for my family I'm going to pray for my church I'm going to pray for my marriage I'm going to pray for my city for my nation I'm going to pray for the nations of the earth are you ready for what is coming God is sending out the invitations he is saying to each and every one of you This could start in the mountains of Negros. It could start in the mountains of other islands. God is just looking for people that He can choose that will come from the place of prayer. When you have a burden for prayer, you have a burden for souls. Sometimes God gives you a vision and people don't understand the burden that comes with the vision. My wife said to me, don't expect people to understand the burden that comes with the vision that you carry. But in time they will understand. When God starts to move, when God starts to come, let me tell you, everyone will say, I remember that man. I remember because he was faithful. He believed it with all of his heart because he was seeing something we could not see. He was hearing something from the prayer closet we could not hear. The Bible says, write the vision down. Though it tarries, it shall come. Proverbs says, teach the vision. Not only do we write it down, we got to teach it until they believe it, until they now start to see. God is also going to reveal it to you. If you desire more, come forward. If you desire more, come forward. The Holy Spirit is prompting you But it's up to you to respond. Are you willing to humble yourself? And you will call upon Him and He will answer you. And He will deliver you. And He will heal you. He will impart to you. As you've desired it, so shall it be so.